What's up everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with Pokemon Violet playing on Nintendo Switch. We're continuing on with our Indigo Disc Legendary Hunting at Snacksworth. Let's see what snacks he's got for us today. There's us another snack. We got Necrozma! Oh, we're going after Necrozma on this one. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna have like the best team of legendaries for this game after I'm done. Actually, not the best, but good, pretty good team. <laughs> that there's a Necrozma treat. You know that, you know Necrozma, right? Frightfully rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Speaking of Necrozma, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I was sitting in the stream of of one of Paldea's waterfalls, letting the pounding water cleanse my mind. When I looked up and saw Necrozma, sat right above me, giving me the ugliest glare. Thought it'd be unwise of me to not to stand by stand my ground, so I squared up and roared as loud as the water. That old Necrozma... F uh, that had old Necrozma off like a shot. And it wasn't just Necrozma either. The shout of mine all sent all the nearby Sawsbucks scattering too. Wouldn't you know it? Ha ha ha. Loves that snack you have there. So you might just have a shot of eating it too. If you run into old Necrozma, you'd be sure to give it my best. Well, we're going to give it our best tonight trying to catch this dang thing. <laughs> Alright, so. We're at Socarit Tra Trail, I guess that's called. Uh, if you go back to where... I forget which uh, which one this was. This uh, yeah, ground ground blight shrine. Oh, uh, this is where you catch Terrakion. There he is. Okay. So yeah, just uh, this is just uh, to the east of Sakura Trail. That's where by Terrakion. Or not Terrakion. What am I saying? Um, <laughs> uh, crap. It's the. Ting, Ting Lu, that's it. <laughs> and when you fight Ting Lu, uh, you can actually uh, just uh, climb up here, go a little east of uh, that spot, and Necrozma is right here. So, Necrozma, to my knowledge, is straight psychic. Wait, let me make sure I'm 100% uh, on this. Yeah, straight psychic, at least in this form. <laughs> so, Cleaver wouldn't be a bad idea, and then we'll go in with uh, Duck Hunt here to finish it off. But always save. This poor mishmash of a whatever it is. <laughs> I feel bad for it because it's complete. It's not in its like completed form. <laughs> like try to put itself back together. No! No! I, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I'm saying no. What's wrong with you? <laughs> How did you not hear that? Okay. <laughs> it was a little early to start going with false swipe. I'm just gonna cut it down with false swipe. Oh, this my okay. okay. I'm a little later. I'm picking up the pace here. Let's just go. Let's keep going out with false swipe. Oh, that's good. Critical hit there. Let's really, let's really whittle this thing down. There we go. Perfect. their own rocks. He's got two good rock attacks. Probably not the best idea to go in with a bug type. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna chance it. Duck hunt. And defense, perfect. All that defense power ain't gonna help you much. I might be wrong on this. I do believe that Smeargle is the, the fastest Pokemon that can use Spore. I might be wrong on that. Do not quote me on that. To Toad's Curl might be faster, but, but Mycelium might uh, makes it, yeah makes it uh, move, move move later. Still got three Master Balls. I plan on using them on maybe Ghost Type. Ooh, wow. Didn't he, not even a wiggle. And he just woke up. Great. This is gonna suck. Back to sleep with you. Yeah, these legendaries, they only stay asleep for like one turn. 
Which is weird, because every time, every time someone spores me, I'm usually asleep for like four or more turns. <laughs> Two wiggle, three wiggle. Nice. All right. So far, we're doing good. Back to Snacksworth now. See what he's got for us. This one is going to be a special snack. Of course, they're all special. Rayquaza! Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, okay. So of the th so there are three Pokemon that you can only get through, uh, through uh, their, their group exclusive uh, quests. Last video we got Kiram, this video we got Necrozma, now we got Rayquaza. And that there's the Rayquaza treat. You know Rayquaza, rightfully rare, that one. Not your run of the mill Pokemon. I would love if he just got every name, every Pokemon name wrong. <laughs> that there's Rayqua Rayquaza. Ray just pronunciation, timing, so <laughs> emphasis on, on certain syllables. <laughs> I do recall this one, particularly encounter when I was a younger fella. I was doing a bit of mountain climbing, hauling myself up some mighty steep Paladin cliffs. When I made it to the top, now that was the kind of sight a man lives for. I looked down over the edge into the sea of white mist, unbroken as far as the eye could see. There was something truly mystical about it all. And that's, and what came bursting out, right out of the dense fog, was old Ryquizzi. <laughs> like a cork out of a bottle. I nearly fell back down the mountain in a shock. He loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot meeting it too. If you're on to old Rick was a... <laughs> if, you're under, if you run into Ricky Martin, you'd be sure to give it my best. <laughs> Alright, so we're at South Province Area 3. And from what I can understand, it's basically right up here. At the t Yeah, at, at, we're going up to all the way to the Great Crater. It's going to be like right, right along the Great Crater. Not in the crater itself, but kind of like around the edge. But... You're able to fly. This like this. This should not be a problem getting here. Oh, look, there he is. <laughs> There's old Rocky Rocky Balboa. <laughs> All right, so this one, flying dragon. I mean, I got one of those, but. He's been working pretty well. And he's only got dragon and normal type attacks. He's also got rest and fly. Oh, he's got rest. Might be... Yeah, you can probably... that Now, rest is a recovery move. Let's try... Let's try him with slow, bro. See what happens. Now, the thing is... The recovery, yeah, the recovery is gonna be a problem if he uses rest. But I got psychic noise here. Oh boy, dragon pulse. Yeah, he's gonna be faster, but slow bro can take it. Now he can't use rest. This is gonna be an interesting thing here. This works. Good. Spore him. I'm thinking Smeargle can probably take one more attack. Thing is, my, I've not had the best luck with this spore, so if I can false swipe him down a little, that'd be great. Good. The question is, do I try? Do I dare try and go for the catch? One more false swipe. <laughs> this thing's gonna wake up and then use rest again. Fudge! Fudge! <laughs> wow, Tim, it's like you knew exactly the worst possible outcome to this situation. <laughs> okay, so that's bad. I'm gonna start hyper drilling him. Yeah, it's not a great attack. <laughs> But the, right with rest, it's a guaranteed two. I have two guaranteed turns to attack. But you can actually set your uh, watch by rest and use attacks like sleep talk, which is an effective strategy. 
problem with hyper drills, I only have like five BP on the or five uh, PP on this, so. Don't do not use rest again. Okay. <laughs> this might get the knockout on him though. Yeah, fudge. Okay. I really should come over here with a backup. Sleep Pokemon of some sort. Try and use the Ultra Ball. He's gonna use Rest again, that's gonna happen. Thankfully I do have more Max Revive, so... Problem is getting getting a smear goal back in. I'm probably gonna have to wait for him to use rest. Meantime, let's see if we can get lucky with one of these ultra balls. Not even a wiggle. <laughs> Not even one wiggle. Less than one wiggle. Sending Cleaver if I can wear him down a little bit more. He's gonna use rest. That's gonna happen. He does. I'm pulling out. Actually, well, probably just uh, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna have to wear him down with a uh, Cleaver. That works. Aerial Ace. See what happens. Okay, good. Perfect. Because he's asleep, if, I, if this false swipe does enough damage, I can probably hit him. Yep, I can hit him with this. He'll still be asleep. This might be my best opportunity to catch him. Let's go! Not- wow, really? Okay, he's gonna fly. You know what? Duck Hunt actually here has has good defense. I put I put I, I maxed out his defense stat. So maybe he can take the fly attack. Yes. Back to sleep with you. <laughs> sleep now. Still asleep, you little butthole. <laughs> it is nighttime, so let's go with a dust ball, see what happens here. One wiggle. Oh! Still asleep, good. <laughs> Every turn he's asleep is a blessing right now. <laughs> Come on! He's asleep! He's at 1 HP! Will probably get the knockout. Fudge! <laughs> Alright, Cleaver, you're back in. <laughs> Survive on Smeargle. Yeah, perfect. can't risk sending him back in until either I know he's going to use fly or until he tries to use rest again. There it is. Okay. Yeah, if you can one-two punch this thing, like use a pretty decently strong attack and then use false swipe to get him down to one HP, you'll have one turn to uh, hit him with a strong false swipe, to hit him with a, hit him with a, like a Pokeball or an Ultra Ball. <laughs> He'll be asleep, he'll be at 1 HP. Probably be your best time. Like I said, it's guaranteed two turns with rest. I wish Spore had that kind of guarantee. <laughs> That's terrible. Now if it did, we'd every team in freaking regionals would have would have a freaking Amoongus. Alright, don't fail me now, Dustball. Like you did the last three times. One wiggle. Two wiggle. Oh, okay. We're up to two wiggles, so. 
We're, we're wearing him down. <laughs> Bring in Smeargle, or yeah, bring in Smeargle now. I know he can take the fly attack. And then Spore next turn. Time to hunt, buddy. Oh, the attack missed. Yes, good. I don't think he'll be able to solve to be able to take a Dragon Pulse attack, but he should be able to take any other attack. Still dark out. No. Oh. Should be working right now. No dust ball works in like caves and stuff. Let's take a look. Perfected one catch at night or in dark. It's night. It, it can't be any more night. <laughs> All these dang scar stars in the sky. It's gotta be night. It's night. <laughs> Creeping up anywhere. Oh, yeah, there's a moon. Dusk ball. Night. Night. Dusk ball. Catch. Dang it. <laughs> uh, and he's awake. <laughs> oh, those eyes, too. I actually have a use for X defense now. It's like, ugh, he's gonna attack me. <laughs> Get ready, Smurgle. Good! Wow. <laughs> that was probably the best move I could have made right there. <laughs> Freaking critical hitting me with fly. If I hadn't done that, that would have been a knockout. Alright, so I have at least one more turn at this. It's still night out. Get caught! No! Good, still asleep. Battling. I've been battling this thing since the sun went down. One wiggle, two wiggle. Ah! Oh, I can't even get to the third wiggle. And he's awake. And dragon. Oh, fly. Okay. Give you a little help. There you go, buddy. This is gonna hurt, so drink your drink your juice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't hurt as much when it's not freaking critical. Still night out. The sun's getting ready to come up. I believe Dust Ball is stronger than an Ultra Ball. I'm not 100% on that. But at night, I believe it is. Well, you wouldn't know by this. <laughs> Get caught. Okay. He's gonna fly. That's good. I can take that. I'm gonna do this in case he tries to Dragon Pulse me. Still night. Okay. I'm gonna try an Ultra Ball. Really don't know when the cutoff on night on night and day is, so. Wanna wiggle? Nope. <laughs> Same luck. I feel like I should be able to see the sun coming up from this angle. He's gonna wake up soon, so.
If he, does, if he stays asleep for one more turn, that's, that'll be good. He's up. Hyper voice. I think I used the special defense thing when I did. This is a fierce battle. <laughs> One more dust ball before the sun comes up. Not even a wiggle. And he's already awake. And he's using fly. Alright, so might as well heal up a little bit. Drink your juice, buddy. <laughs> Oh, good, it missed. I'm running out of spores, though. <laughs> Mark my words, I am catching this thing. <laughs> Dust ball. Eventually, I'm going to have to get like a critical capture or something. Oh, come on. Really? I think if I can retreat it. If I retreat, I lose all the defense buffs I gave it. I didn't think it would use rest again. Swiping at it. Son of a gun. Um, you use lepa berries on this thing to. Yeah. And we'll use this. So I get back the uh, PP for a spore too. I, real I just realized I should have given this thing Super Fang instead of Hyper Drill. Well, you live and learn. <laughs> I think I might do that. I might pause the video and uh, give it Super Fang instead of Hyper Drill. I thought Hyper Drill would have done better. Should be able to take a Dragon Pulse, yeah. Go one more hyper drill. Ha ha. I'm gonna spore it and then fall swipe it. Wearing him down. Okay, it's day now, so I'm going to use, resort to using Ultra Balls. That's fine. That's right. Stay asleep, you big dumb giant. Good. Get caught. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> up um yeah let's keep going okay so uh, so Smirgle lost all those buffs I gave him but I can still keep bringing him back Smirgle's like just let me die why won't you just let me die <laughs> no 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 come on this isn't that kind of game Come on, use rest, you big dumb giant. 
Oh, he's using fly. Smeargle! No! Don't send me in a third time! <laughs> You monster! <laughs> you said I was gonna hunt ducks! <laughs> this is not a duck! This is very much not a duck! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it's a duck. It's a very long, serpentine duck. <laughs> You've never seen a duck before? <laughs> Ultra Ball! Catch that duck! No! Bad duck! <laughs> Catch the duck! And... duck. Oh, no duck. <laughs> Still asleep, so that's good. And... duck. Duck! Duck! Goose! Okay, we got it. <laughs> wow, that was luck. Lucky duck. We did it! <laughs> duck hunt's like, oh, thank God. Thank Arceus. The nightmare is finally over. <laughs> Alright, what, ne what legendary is next? Uh, hey, Mewtwo. No! <laughs> Alright, so I did change up my smear goal a little bit. Yeah, gave him a uh, super fang instead of hyper drill. I don't know why I didn't do that to begin with. <laughs> So he's good now. It's probably the perfect catching Smeargle and leftovers for a little bit of recovery over time. Now let's see if... Okay, next quest. Sure, quest six. Reshiram! <laughs> Finally, some, someone for Curem to play with. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that is a Reshiram treat. You know Reshiram, frightfully rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. <laughs> Speaking of Reggie... I don't know why I'm trying to think of which, uh, I, I, I'm trying to think of like a name he could mistake for the Pokemon. I do recall this one, particular encounter when I was a younger fella. You see, I saw that Ricky Ma <laughs> don't say Ricky Martin again, you already used that one. With my own eyes, out near town that I passed through Pen Paldea. It was a town where a lot of hardworking folk live, and the uh, type of that get their hands steady. I'd climb up uh, to a nice height to look out upon all the hard work carved into the landscape. I was just remarking to myself what a fine show of effort it was, when I seemed to feel a presence behind me, and when I turned, bam! <laughs> Sorry. There, there was Rihanna, right, by my, right at my shoulder. <laughs> I figured it might, it must like uh, good old fashioned hard work too. It loves the snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it. If you run into old Roman Reigns, be sure to give it my best. <laughs> really, that's the name you went with? Alright, fine. <laughs> All right, East Province Area 2 is where we want to go next. Here, I think we just go up to the east. And he's like, right... They said something about a waterfall. Uh, top of the cliff by a waterfall alongside the eastern part of the Great Crater in Paldea. Yeah, you weren't there five seconds ago. <laughs> All right, so there's Reshram. There's old Roman Reigns now. <laughs> uh, what do I want to see? Yeah, let's start with Cleaver. He's uh, fl he's got flamethrower, fusion flare, hyper voice, fire blast, uh, mostly fire attacks. Really should go in with slow bro, but uh, Cleaver's got false swipe. Really should give him. Really should give him the. Uh... I'm only going to be using false swipe with Cleaver anyway. Actually, yeah. Let's, change, let's definitely change it up, though. Where is it? I just had the freaking uh, normal scarf, whatever it is. Silk scarf, there it is. Yes. Alright, this looks good. He's got a scarf. He's good. <laughs> He's got a scarf. He's ready for battle. Edna, acknowledge me! <laughs> acknowledge me! I need attention! Acknowledge me! Uh, hit him with Aerial Ace. 
Ooh, nice. He has no heal, so I don't have to worry about him using rest at all. He's got zero chill. Call swipe. Oh, fire blast. That, that one's gonna hurt. Same with the Ultra Ball, see what happens. Ultra? Nope. <laughs> Acknowledge me! <laughs> You are acknowledged. Sending the dog to take him out, the big dog. <laughs> He's the real head of the table now. <laughs> and with Spore. Go to sleep, Ramen. I put the leftovers on him. A little bit of recovery, not a lot. It's really be effective. If he uses uh, Fire Blast, that would have been the end of it. <laughs> I'm just going to try and catch him with the Ultra Ball. I'm not going to try and heal him too much. So I'm just going to hope he stays asleep long enough for, for leftovers to give me a little bit, a little bit, some pieces of health. Ball. Get him! No! Okay, he's still asleep. <laughs> Just keep chucking Ultra Balls. Still asleep, so maybe one of them will catch. Maybe one of them will even try to catch. Just saying. <laughs> Fusion flare, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Oh, and a critical hit. Okay. Oh, jeez. Um. Can't send in anything. Him. I, I, I need to bring in a different sleep Pokemon instead of Duck Hunt. Let's bring in Slowbro. He can, he can take he can take some hits. Take some of those fusion flare attacks. He's good. He's got an assault vest and he's a water type. <laughs> Critical capture, come on. One critical capture tonight would be very nice. Fusion Flare only has five PP, so. I'm sure I can take a few of them. There's an off chance that Ultra Ball might catch. Without him being asleep. I want to wear him down. I just want him to use the strong moves so I can feel a little bit better about sending Smeargle in. Uh, uh. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> it worked! I wasn't in a critical capture. Just happy to catch. I'll take it. Take what you can get. <laughs> Alright, Snacksworth, what you got for me? Number 7 quest. This is gonna number 7 group quest. Raiko! Okay, so this one should be easier. I mean, you just have to worry about electric attacks. I don't think it's gonna have any surprises. Yeah, 
extra sensory discharge, reflect, and rain dance. Huh. Yeah, I think the reflect might help us. So we can whittle it down. Oh, sorry. Yes, that was a day me and uh, old Reiko went to racing up a mountain together. That Raiko. <laughs> it's not a slash. That, why are they all starting with the letter R tonight? That's for sure. Kept dashing past me and taking the lead. I was huffing and puffing and muttering some colorful things as I chased, as I chased that wily Pokemon. But in the end, we were sitting side by side atop that peak, gazing out upon the massive, re majestic uh, desert that covers the land of the, to the north. So, desert in the north. Love a, loves the snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it, too. If you run into... <laughs> If you're under old I'm just not going to do that. You better sure to give it my best. You give me a name that doesn't start with R, and I'll start giving you other names to mistake for the Pokemon. <laughs> Top of the mountain on West Province Area 1. This is West... Yeah, this is... This has got to be it. Grab this team. Grab it. There. Where we fought Bomber Deer. Stare out and see the desert. Hey, there's Reiko. Okay. All right. So this one, yeah, we're going with Cleaver. Whittle it down with uh, whatever attack we can hit. I think Aerial Ace will be nice to whittle it down, and then False Swipe it, and then we bring in Smeargle for the for the cat for the spore and the capture. I like the way he looks though. Hold on. He's like, you really gonna take a picture? Fine. <laughs> uh, I can do better. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I gotta have a little bit of fun with this. Oh, you gonna capture me? Okay. Hey, you think you can do something about these teeth? <laughs> Make it really difficult. I mean, easy to catch prey, but really difficult to chew. <laughs> All right. He is a really cool looking legendary. Kind of wishes move pool was better. It's mostly electric attacks. Also, it's weird. He has extra sensory discharge and reflect, and he also uses rain dance, but he doesn't use thunder. There's no point to or weather ball. I mean, he, he can learn weather ball. I'm just saying, if you're gonna learn rain, there's no real point to, for it to have rain dance. It, abs it does absolutely nothing. I mean, it just kind of establishes the fact that he can control thunder. Rain goes with thunder, but he doesn't. He doesn't use thunder. <laughs> it's mostly for show. Anyway, aerial ace. <laughs> I was looking at the move pool. And I'm like, why? Why rain dance? <laughs> okay, reflect. That makes sense. You know, boost your defense. Why? Why the rain dance? <laughs> There's no benefit to this other than weakening fire attacks and making it difficult to use solar beam. That's it. Okay, maybe if they think like you're gonna go in with a legendary, why are you? Why do you use rain dance again, bro? Why? Kind of want to try and send in Smeargle. It keeps using freaking rain dance. <laughs> yeah, let's send him. Let's send him in. See what happens. Well, I'm just gonna use friggin' Rain Dance again. I mean, he only has extra sensory and discharge, but Smeargle does not have good special defense. That Rain Dance, okay. <laughs> well, you've just. You just keep using Rain Dance and there's no more reflex. Cool. Go to sleep, buddy. But who's gonna summon the rain if I'm asleep? <laughs> I'm kind of glad they didn't give him thunder, but still, I mean, if they're going to give him rain dance. <laughs> oh, and the rain stopped. Great. <laughs> Hold your ball. 
Really? Ah, oh, Gray's awake. Rain dance. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I think he might have used up all the rain dance he's, he's got. Back to sleep with you. And Ultra Ball. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, so close. We'll get it. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Or stay asleep. That works too. <laughs> stay in the ball. One. Oh, okay. Yeah, here he's gonna wake up now. Oh, rain dance, great. <laughs> Oh no, it's raining! How could you, you monster? <laughs> Definitely giving Smeargle some, le some leeway here. <laughs> okay, if this fifth rain dance doesn't kill him, <laughs> nothing will. <laughs> yeah, how do you like that? That's what you get for trying to catch me. You get wet. <laughs> That's what you deserve. Wetness. One. Dang it. I will not get caught because of all the rain. <laughs> the rain makes the Pokeball too slick. <laughs> get in the ball. Oh yeah, Ultra Balls don't work in the rain, I forgot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, oh no, no more rain. <laughs> You're you're mine now. <laughs> oh, more rain. You're asleep. I mean, if it had like that, like a hidden ability, like like hydration or something to wake it up in rain, that would probably work. But yeah, there's really no purpose for it to know rain dance. Why will you not stay asleep? So that should heal up after I spore it again. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I don't know why they call them legendary dogs. There's really, I don't think that that name is not coined by Nintendo or Pokemon in any way. This one looks more like a saber tooth tiger. And Entei always look kind of like a lion to me. They don't really look like dogs. Entei looks like a dog. Sui couldn't look like a dog. This one looks like a cat. <laughs> Maybe it's a saber tooth dog with pointy ears. <laughs> Come on. This color matches you. Get in the Ultra Ball. No, I want a Dusk Ball. <laughs> I got so many spores left. I can always uh, elixir myself up, but. It's it not even wiggling. He's awake again. That's your sensor. Yeah, if I had weather ball, that might be better. That that would explain the that then the rain dance would work. And water attack would actually mess people up. I don't know, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't think you can learn. It, can, it can't learn Weather Ball, can it? 
Okay, it learns, le le learns Thunder at level 72. That's probably why it doesn't have it right now. <laughs> you can learn extreme speed. Uh, that doesn't help. Okay, it can learn Weather Ball. Alright. Still, though. Get in the ball. Get in the Weather Ball. <laughs> One, two, three... Boom jam! All right, we got it. <laughs> After yelling at the screen enough times, that's that's how it works. <laughs> you gotta yell louder, so so it can hear you. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Snacks worth. What have you got for me? Come on, give some good. And a ho ho treat. All right. <laughs> Just in time for the holidays. Ho ho ho! No, it's terrible. Ho ho. Yeah, ho is, ho I think is like something that's like Japanese for Phoenix or something. Something like that. Hoing is like, yeah, it's like it's Japanese for Phoenix, so. You know, for, you know, ho, -Oh, frightfully rare, that one. Not your run of the mill Pokemon. Speaking of ho ho, <laughs> ho ho, not ho ho. <laughs> I do recall this one, particular encounter when I was a younger fella. Now, this is a real, uh, it's a real old tale from those long ago, days when I just started as a trainer. I was down in the southwest of Pal- <laughs> I just left Pallet Town with my body Pikachu. <laughs> Looked up into the sky. Rainbow feather fell from the sky. <laughs> Near the cascading waterfalls down there. I'd been up through my, the night, training without uh, without rest to try to make my Pokemon stronger. Then ho -Oh appears in the sky above me, glittering and sparkling, bright as you ever saw. <coughs> I'd sure like to believe that it appeared there to cheer me on when I was trying so hard. It loves that snack you got there. But how would you know it likes the snack? It flew past you. <laughs> so you might just have a shot at meeting it. Grand old ho oh, you be sure to give it my best. Okay, fine. I, I'm starting to think this guy's a liar. <laughs> I mean, he's giving me snacks here that summon Pokemon, but aside from that, this guy's gotta be a liar. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely by the raised hill by the waterfall. Just to give you an idea where it's, like, on the map. This is this kind of tricky area. Yeah, if you go east of out of east of there, directly south of Contondo or whatever, should be like right, yeah, right there on that little circular part. All right, so for this one, yeah, we'll just I think the cleaver duck hunt strategy is working well. Did I not? I didn't heal him up. Ugh. All right, we'll just heal him up with items. I thought I healed him up after that last one. Guess not. Sorry, I got a bunch of these, so. That's good. I better not run out of spore on this one, though. <laughs> I get so many chances to get a picture with this thing. Uh, I want I want the one the wings there it is. Perfect. Alrighty. Yeah, we're good. Just making sure everything is good before we start. Shao! <laughs> Shazu! <laughs> That's your name? <laughs> I don't know if I want this thing anymore, if, that, if it sounds like that. <laughs> I do like the cliff side battle, though. That does look kind of cool. Release. Wow. <laughs> Could not have planned that out any better. Just whittle it down with false swipe. Perfect. So it has recover. That's my only concern with this one. It's got Sacred Fire and Sunny Day. See, now, now this works. This works together. The Sunny Day. I'm not going to try and do it. I'm going to try and hopefully... 
Maybe he'll use... I don't know. <laughs> Sunny day. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Go to sleep. His ability is pressure, though, so yeah, those spores are gonna whittle down a lot faster. Maybe I should have healed up that last... <laughs> I'm glad I used the elixir before this battle. Catch it on the first one, maybe. One, two, three. Holy crap, wow! <laughs> nice. Maybe the sunny day helped it catch easier. <laughs> it was in a nice warm spot. It was sleeping. It was having a great day. <laughs> so all in all, yeah. <laughs> we had a pretty good... Uh, Pretty good catching day, catching some legendaries here. <laughs> Just chilling out with Rayquaza, Reshiram. <laughs> uh, okay, they're going crazy. They're going crazy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> well, that is going to wrap things up for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to Tim Plays Game. Stay tuned for more uh, more Pokemon Violet videos. There are 25 of these uh, snacks worth legendaries and all. So I think I've caught about eight of them, so 17 left to go. So probably three more videos. <laughs> Till next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays the Game signing off. And have a good night, guys.